Look, Bob, this publicity may be the biggest break of our lives. If those pictures of our model home appear in the magazine, we'll have to fight the customers off. Why are you so stubborn? Mr. Thackeray is absolutely right, Bob. He's had more experience than you have. P.T. Barnum had this slogan about publicity. I don't care what you say as long as you mention my name. And I've been guided by his wisdom for many years. Well, what do you say? Well, sir, I... <laughs> my Perkins reminder watch must have set it wrong. I wish you'd set it on fire. But what's your answer to this publicity thing? Will you or won't you? All right, sir, I'll do it. It's just a little foreign to my nature, that's all. It'll be fun from start to finish. You'll see, Bob. That's right, Robert. Harmless, safe, and constructive fun. <laughs> Very nice. Now don't move it, hold it. Mm, very nice. Still. That's fine, Mr. Bean Blossom. Uh, now I think we ought to get one of the mantelpiece. With the fireplace in the background, it'll uh, show up the living room. Hi, right, mister. When these pictures of our model home appear in Modern America magazine, it ought to help Mr. Thackeray sell this whole development. <laughs> Whoa, not so fast. I'm just a freelance photographer. This layout's my own idea. But uh, B.J. usually buys what I bring in. Oh, no. No, your hands are too stiff. Do something with them, anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, try, uh, try putting them someplace else. <laughs> oh, that's not exactly what I meant. Uh, Put them in your pocket. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Well, there's only one pocket in this row. <sighs> Here, let me show you. Give me your hand. That's right. And, uh, this hand. Now, just turn the face slightly this way. Sometime I must show you my dark room. Oh, yes, I'm very interested in dark rooms. I mean, I'm very interested in photography. Do you have any of those nitro benzedrine developers? Back to work. Hold it, uh, Mr. Bean Blossom. <laughs> I guess that's as far as we can go with the layout. Ah, oh, Mr. Turner, Robert. Hello, Mr. Thackeray. Well, how's the layout coming? Oh, the layout looks fine. You really have a charming model house here. And thank you for loaning me your star salesman as a model. Uh, he's... Very sweet. If you'll excuse me, Miss Turner, I'd better be getting back to the office. Goodbye, and well, thank you very much. Just one moment, Mr. Bean Blossom. Uh, Mr. Thackeray, I've been so busy doing the layout, I haven't had a chance to see the town yet. And, well, of course, I'd love to do all the spots, but uh, I'm a stranger here, and I'd need someone to show me around. Oh, say, could I make a suggestion? Yes, I, I've been waiting for one. Well, there's a new guided tour that starts from Hollywood and Vine. It's only 50 cents. Robert? Uh, <laughs> That is not what Miss Turner had in mind. Miss Turner, if you'd like to see the town, oh, well, I know my way around rather well. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that uh, wasn't exactly what I had in mind, Mr. Thackeray. I, uh, I was wondering if I might borrow one of your salesmen again. You know, dinner, dancing. Oh, yes, dinner and dancing. Oh, yes, well, I'm quite sure that one of our salesmen would be only too happy to supply you with dinner and dancing. Eh, hey, Bob? Sir. 
Oh, yeah, sure, you bet. Well, let's see, there's Klein. Oh, nice fellow, Klein. You and he and his wife would have loads of laughs together. Uh, not Klein. Uh, aren't you forgetting someone else in the office, Robert? Someone else? Well, there's Julie, but I think she's washing her hair tonight. <laughs> Well, what about a certain Robert S. Bean Blossom? Well, I don't know if he or me. Gee. Then it's all arranged. My assistant will pick up my equipment, and uh, you can pick me up at the hotel around 7. I'll be waiting. Papa. Don't forget. My, Mr. Thackeray, I, I wouldn't know what in the world to do with a girl like that. Why'd you pick me? Bean Blossom, for some reason which I cannot comprehend, women, beautiful women, intelligent women, women with foresight, women with hindsight seem to set their sights on you. I can't figure it out, but you have something. I certainly wish I could get rid of it. It keeps getting me in trouble. Look, that layout is terribly important to us. You take Rosalind Turner to the best places in town. Give her anything she wants. Make this an evening she'll remember. Uh, Mr. Thackeray, I hate to bring this up, but I've only got about four dollars. After the movies, there won't be enough left for hamburgers. Hamburg... <laughs> My dear Bean Blossom, this is a champagne girl. You've heard about the Beachcombers, Romanoffs, LaRue's, Chasen's, Macombo, Ciro's. Oh, yes, sir. Take her there. Take her everywhere. Do the town. This is her evening, Bean Blossom. Don't miss a thing. I see. All right, sir, I'll do it. She won't be able to eat for a week. <laughs> Bob, I must say, you're, you're picking out the most fashionable spots in town. I'm loving every second of it. Oh, thank you. It's really nothing. We who live here in Hollywood get so used to it, you know. Oh, dear. Matter. Oh, I've got the film of the layout pictures in my purse. They're too valuable to leave in a hotel room. Oh, I see. I meant to ask you to drive by the developing lab so I could drop them off. But well, we can do that now. Oh, no. No, they have 24-hour service. We'll drop them off later. Much later. Uh, good evening, monsieur. May I help you? Uh, bean Blossom. Uh, pardon, monsieur? Bean Blossom for dinner? Oh, uh, well, uh, they are not on the menu, monsieur, but I uh, will ask. Chef. Uh, let's not be confused. It's Mr. Bean Blossom. Him. Oh, 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 I beg your pardon. So sorry. Follow me, please. Madame, Thank you. Well, very nice and cozy. Sort of away from people. Yes, and uh, civilization, too. Oh, here, let me help you off with your wrap. I beg your pardon. You mustn't take cold. Oh, Bob, you have such a wonderful sense of humor. Well, you have a pretty nice sense of humor yourself. You wish to order a drink before dinner? I'd love one. What would you like, Bob? Oh, excuse me? I said, what would you like to drink? Well, let's see. Uh, I'm very fond of buttermilk. <laughs> we'll have champagne. Very well, madame. And should I bring you some hot hors d'oeuvres, monsieur? Hot hors d'oeuvres? Oh, oh, yes, yes. After all, what's cold champagne without hot hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> madame. Monsieur. Well, here we are. Yep, here we are. This afternoon I was a photographer. Tonight I'm a woman. Well, I certainly can't argue with that. I'd love to dance. Oh, well, go right ahead, don't mind me. Oh, dance, yes. Yeah. 
What are you doing? I'm just trying to get my bearings. I'm sure I saw a dance floor when I came in here. <laughs> How did you dance right here? It'll be much, much cozier. Oh, yes, there is that, of course. So smooth. Yeah, so is yours. Gosh, your hair smells nice. You're sweet. I've been dreaming about being with you like this all day. Bob, you shouldn't have done it. I know. I'm a cat. I'm so being blessed, and you're sweeping me right off my feet. <laughs> Miss Turner, I, I hate to be taking advantage of you like this. Oh, that's right. I like aggressive men. <laughs> you know, this afternoon when you were posing for me, I just thought of you as a sweet little boy. But here tonight in this atmosphere, the way you dance, the way you reach for my hand across the table. Suddenly, you're not a little boy anymore. You're a man of the world. Man of the world? You're so smooth, sophisticated, suave. Suave? The type of man who is charming, yet dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. <laughs> Champagne and your deuce. Just put them down. I am open the champagne. Never mind, Garcon. Go. We wish to be alone. Very well. Ah, my favorite vintage. Internal Revenue Tax 1952. My dear, I've opened buckets of these. Bob, the cork. Oh! Ah! Oh! What? I'm so sorry, Miss Turner. Oh, that's all right. I uh, have a handkerchief here. Yeah, let, let me do it. I'm awfully sorry. That's all right. It's uh, not my best day. Oh, good heavens, look! The purse. Oh. Oh. The negative, the whole request. The layout's wrong. All I tried to do was open a bottle of champagne. Fired. Oh, that's nothing new. You've been fired before and gotten back on. Bob, I've thought of a way to help you out of this. No, 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 Julia. I can't let you help anymore. I just can't. I can get another real estate job in a minute. Well, the M.H. Phipps people would be glad. Well, the Longdale people would snap at a chance. Well, well anyway, Fairchild really Company would give their right arm. To... All right. How are you going to help me? Look. The home editor of Modern America magazine is right here in town. Now, if Miss Turner thought the layout was worthwhile, why can't we talk the editor into doing a new layout? The editor? Now, Julie, how is that? Come on, Bob. Have... Why do you always argue? Well, you're just wasting your time. Even if Miss Turner had brought the photographs, I wouldn't have accepted them anyway. Well, I, I don't see what's wrong with the model home, Mr. Norman. It's one of the prettiest in California. That's just the trouble. It's just a model home. Now, when we show a home, we want a family in it. After all, Modern America is a family magazine. No one is interested in bachelors. They are? No. Well, come on, Julie. Mr. Norman's a busy man. You mean that if you had a family living in that home, you'd do the layout on it? Well, I think so, yes. From the way you described it, it sounds like a very lovely home. Well, Bob, 
Why don't you tell Mr. Norman? T tell him, tell him what? That we've been living in that home ever since we got married. We what? Well, now, this puts an entirely different light on the matter. Why didn't you speak up before? You're a very nice, wholesome-looking couple. A bit unusual, I might say, but, but interesting. Yes, I can see this whole layout now. An unusual model couple in an unusual model home. Uh, couple? Wait a minute. What couple are you talking about? Us, darling husband. Unusual us. Oh, you mean unusual us. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have you any children? Yes. No. I don't understand. You said no, and she said yes. Well, well she had the children to see, not me. <laughs> well, that seems normal enough. Boys or girls? Girls. Boys. Boys, girls? Well, one of each, a boy and a girl. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just right. Uh, how old are they? Judy, I better let you take this one. The boy is 10, the girl's 11. Oh, and that's just right, too. You know, this is getting to sound so good, I'm going to do this layout myself. How about my coming up to dinner tonight so that I can get the feel of this family of yours? Dinner tonight? Well, you see, we hardly counted on... Don't fuss. I want to catch you two just as you are, alone with your two children. Well, I, I don't think we can get them that fast. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, well, he means that they're over at their grandfather's for the day. <laughs> Bring him over, too. You, you think so? Oh, this is a perfect layout. A model couple in a model home with two model children and a model grandfather. But, but now but I'll be there at 7 o'clock sharp. You hurry up and get Gramps and the kid. Meanwhile, I'll call New York and tell him to hold the first two pages. <laughs> oh, Bob, will you stop worrying? It'll work out all right, believe me. Oh, Judy, the whole thing is ridiculous. It's bad enough you and I pretending to be married without getting Mr. Thackeray to play Grandpa. Well, when I explained to him that this meant a four-page layout in modern America, he thought it was worth the gamble. But he's even out getting the two children. Julie, I refuse to have Mr. Thackeray get my children. Some things a man... That must be Mr. Thackeray. Oh, fine, Grandpa, yet. But, Missy, you should give me a few more minutes to sell the rest of my papers. Never mind about your newspapers. I need you right now. After all, I'm paying you five dollars for this job. Here. Okay. You can sell the rest of the papers. I... No, you don't. Now, son, I want you to meet your father. <laughs> Hello, son. My father? Uh, look what we bought for you. Nice new suit. Mr. Thacker said size 12. I think it'll just about fit you. Me? Why, that sissy suit? It'll cost you ten. We made a deal at five. Yeah, but you didn't say I had to wear that monkey suit. Mr. Thackeray, where's the little girl? Yeah, the editor's expecting a boy and a girl. We got outfits for both of them this afternoon. I couldn't find any little girl. We just have to try and get by with him. Mr. Norman, I'll take him upstairs and get him dressed. Go on, Junior. The name is Sidney. You won't have time to take him upstairs. Use the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen. You, you better get going, son. Take your paws off me, you and your monkey suit. Now, Bob, you know exactly what you have to do. Here, get in your easy chair. Yeah, easy chair. Monkey suit, or model hug. Why, Mr. Norman. How do you do? Welcome to our little home. Thank you. Oh, you are the picture of a model housewife. Where's your husband? Uh, right over there. Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, hello, Mr. Norman. Just, uh, just sitting in my model chair reading my model newspaper. No, 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 no. I don't want to disturb you. I want to catch you just as you are. <laughs> now, what were you both doing before I came in? Uh, uh, knitting. Oh, yes, knitting. Bob, I was knitting. Oh, yes. Well, you see, I, I like to help her. We, we, we do things together. Yes, I can see. Oh, Bean Blossom, I envy you. When I came in just now, the first thought I had was charming. This is charming. Oh, thank you, Mr. Norman. It's because we're so happy. Sweetheart. <laughs> My hubby. <laughs> My little Julie. <laughs> Wonderful bliss. Tell me, does this go on like this all the time? Oh, yes, I, I am in the office in weeks. So. The perfect couple. <laughs> By the way, where's Gramps and the children? Um, uh, Gramps is in the children's room. Yeah, that's where we keep the children, you see, in the uh, children's room. He always plays with Junior at this hour of the night. They get on so well. I'm not going to work. Oh, come on now. A deal's a deal. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a businessman. Well, so am I. What's one shoe worth to you? Let's say, one shoe, one buck. <laughs> hey, this is a 
kind of dress when I like. Well, I got two feet. Come on, you little... You little angel. Oh, uh, this is your little boy. Uh, yes, that's right. And uh, this is uh, uh, Grandpa, uh, Mr. Norman. Mr. Norman? <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, come to Daddy, Junior. The name is Sidney. Yeah, oh, come, come, Daddy wants to give you a ride around the room piggyback. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> they have so much fun together. Uh, yes, I always play piggyback with my young ones, too. Here, come to Daddy. The name is Sidney. <laughs> Mr. Norman wants to see you play piggybacking now. Fuck you another buck. <laughs> get up there! Good <laughs> Gallagher! Good Gallagher! We do this every night, right, please. Come on, you know, Junior, Daddy's tired. Ride Gramps for a while. Nothing doing. Say, where's your little girl? She's missing all the fun. Uh, little girl? Little girl? Little girl? Come on, Sidney. Hey, where are we going? We're going to get sister. Come on, darling. <laughs> Oh, I just can't wait to see your little girl. No, as a matter of fact, I can't wait to see her, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been waiting here ten minutes. Where is your little girl? I'd love to meet her. I can't imagine where she could be. Uh, tell you what, Mr. Norman, if you'll come back tomorrow, maybe we can find one. I mean, uh, get her. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, uh, here comes the little darling now. Oh, come on, you little sweet. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Norman. I don't want to say hello to Mr. Norman. Ah, oh, little girl. And isn't she sweet? Yeah, she looks just like her little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked like him, too. You shouldn't kick your daddy like that, little girl. No, Mr. Norman's so right about that. Now, uh, come to daddy, little uh, Gwendolyn. The name is Sidney. Sydney? Yes, Sydney. I'm getting out of here. Selling newspapers is a lot easier. And you! Me! Oh. Oh. So this was all a hoax. Model family, model home. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Norman. I guess we made model fools of ourselves. Fools? Phonies! Mr. Thackeray, this whole thing was entirely my fault. No, no, Julie, please. Mr. Listen. Thackeray? Oh, Bob, listen, I've got great news. Miss Turner. I just got an assignment to do a home layout for today's men's magazine. And I'll be able to use Bob and your model home for a whole new layout. Only much better, completely different. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, I'll get this great new angle. Little brother from military school visits big brother in model home. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. And I have just the boy to pose with you, Bob. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Junior, come in. The name is Sydney. Oh, no. No, no, Sydney, please. Please, Sydney. We got the layout after all. Robert S. Bean Blossom, you did it again. My hero. Hey. <laughs> 